Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. So today I got me a uh, JBL Charge 5. This is the fifth versions that they have out there. Basically, um, the JBL has been doing some pretty good Bluetooth speakers. I was trying out some of the smaller ones like the Go and the Clip and it sounds fantastic. The build quality is amazing. And so I have also been using the Charge 4, which is the previous version of this. And I totally love it. The bass on that thing is Amazing, amazing. We were outside uh, for Halloween and we were sitting outside passing out candies. I was using the Charge 4 out there and literally the whole neighborhood can hear me with my music going at the same time. Yeah, it's, it sounds like there's a party at my house. That's what it sounds like. Anyway, so I saw this uh, right here, the Charge 5, and I was like, why not go ahead and pick it up? What, I mean, what can go wrong, right? Because the Charge 4 is already so great Charge 5's gotta be better, right? If you guys don't know, the, the JBL Charge series is essentially a bigger Bluetooth speaker than the something like the Flip. And at the same time, it actually charges your battery. So there's a USB-A port that goes out of it. And yeah, you use it to charge your phone at the same time it's playing the it's using the bluetooth to play the speakers right a lot of time it's kind of important right because you're sitting there with your phone draining the battery as it's playing music on spotify or something like that and uh, yeah so it's a great idea and charge is essentially jbl version that lets you charge your phone Alrighty, so let's see what the difference is here. I mean, I, I don't have my Charge 4 around here so I can do a comparison, but... By the way, guys, I did buy this uh, certified refurb. If you have not bought um, electronics from Amazon certified refurb, I recommend you look into it. it. Saves you tons of money, and at the same time, the quality is amazing. So first of all, let me just show you this right here. It's, you see the quality is pristine, I would say. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not like, you know, it's someone just passed you their Bluetooth speaker, right? This one right here, they actually clean it up and everything. It's really nice. I bought a lot of uh, certified refurb stuff from Amazon, especially electronics, and totally satisfied with it every single time. And usually it comes with like a brown box like this. Any help? Uh, so you got yourself some uh, USB-C cord in there, which I love by the way. Uh, really high quality stuff right there. So the one thing that I do need to mention is that the Charge 5 has a Bluetooth 5.1. So what that means is that they upgraded their party boost, which is this button right here. Essentially what that means guys is that if you have multiple speakers and you want to link them all up and do like stereo sound Yeah, your phone can like push to Two of those speakers and they'll link together. They'll sound great. They'll that you, you have stereo, you know, you put one on each ear um, So yeah, that's called party boost right there. So this thing has Bluetooth 5.1 If you have like the charge 4 which is the previous version or let's say if you have like the flip uh, four or something like that where the Bluetooth is not 5.1 it's not gonna have party boost but they do have their own version of you know connecting multiple speakers together so just an FYI you're not gonna be able to use this right here with the older models uh, JBL keeps upgrading it it's kind of annoying to be honest with you with that out of the way you know what this thing right here looks pretty much like the charge 4 in my opinion um, you got yourself USB-A right here so you can charge your phone just in case if you're still using like wires to charge your phone. The one thing that I am kind of confused about is that, you know, this thing is like waterproof, right? But the USB-C port is exposed right here. See, they, they didn't put it behind this flap. So I'm wondering how that would affect um, the waterproof of this. Because the older models, um, pretty much everything is enclosed. If you look around here, everything is pretty tightly sealed. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just weird to me that they expose that. Anyway, uh, but if they say it's waterproof, it's, I guess it is, right? So when you turn it on, this thing right here, this is the battery level, by the way. This is the battery level right here. Um, change of the logo a little bit, but that's about it. Everything else is pretty much the same as the Charge 4. Um, 
I believe it also lasts like 20 hours, which is the same as the Charge 4. Okay, so one more thing. Let me just point this out to you. If you've never seen like uh, up close and JBL speakers, these guys, the quality on this is just, ah. Oh. So right now the Bluetooth is kind of blinky right here. That means that I can actually find it on my phone. So if I look on here, I see Charge 5 right here already. The one song that I'm always using, always using to uh, test this out. Here we go. This is the song right here. Uh, so right now, guys, this is like halfway. Wait for the bass. So it's going to go really slow. Wait for the bass. Okay, I'm just gonna pause it right there. You guys, I mean, I don't know if you can feel it, but I can feel it. That bass is like rocking my table. <laughs> um, I don't know, I thought it's the same spec, but I feel like halfway, it's a lot louder than the Charge 4, but you know what, I gotta go back and listen to my Charge 4 and, and, and see. I feel like, I feel like it's, it's a bit louder. Okay, so next, we're gonna, all the way up. This is full blast right here. All right, I'm gonna hit play right now. Okay, that's pretty loud. That is pretty loud. Again, I think it's a little bit louder than the Charge 4. But again, I have to go grab my Charge 4, do a little comparison. Maybe that'll be on the next video. But yeah, that's the Charge 5 right there, guys. Um, super loud. I wouldn't call this compact, but to me, it's, it's pretty good. It fits in, you know, you can hold it in one hand. The only thing that you have to watch out is if you have the older JBL, they're not going to be able to do party boost if that's important to you, you know, where you get two speakers going at the same time. But that's the only thing that I would worry about. Everything else right here, this is a solid buy right here. Uh, totally recommend if, if you get like a certified refurb on Amazon. Um, they come pretty, pretty clean. So anyway, that's it for me. I'm out.